Hey everybody, Steven Nance here, back at again with another video for you all. If you guys are new here, welcome. I appreciate you watching this video. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you as well. This one's going to be a hiking video. So this one's going to be at Pedro Point Headlands in Pacifica, and the trail's going to be called San Pedro Beach to Devil Side. If you guys are new here, I'm going to be showing what I think was the best things I've seen during the hike, and then at the end, we'll give you a detailed breakdown of it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I hope to see you at the end of it. You guys enjoyed that video so now let me give you a breakdown of the hike so i track all my hikes two ways first through the ultras app and second through my apple watch so according to the ultras app it was 7.6 miles elevation gain was 1,300 and 1, 000, sorry 1,437 feet moving time was three hours and 33 minutes total time was four hours and eight minutes total calories was 1,852 according to my apple watch it was 7.52 miles Elevation game was 1,567 feet. Total time was 3 hours and 54 minutes. Active calories was 982. Total calories was 1,406. And I averaged 79 beats per minute. So right off the bat, I'm going to give you two pictures. So I'm going to give you the ultras up, which is right here, which is if you're planning to do the hike itself, this is what you're going to see. Please also download the ultras up. It's easy application to use, super user friendly. So I highly recommend doing that. And then I'm going to show you the actual hike that I did. And you can see there's a little bit of discrepancy here. I did 0.9 more miles than the Ultras app. And that actually was a great decision of mine. The reason being is because that's where I got, I think most of the footage that you saw here today is kind of like where I veered off and kind of explored around the hikes. And I found this kind of like little hidden trail where it kind of led me to like the edge of a cliff where I was able to kind of see the whole ocean, the beach on my left side, and also just kind of like an isolated rock there. Uh, so you please look at that where I kind of veer off. Be safe though because it's very decline and then incline. So if you are exhausted, I wouldn't recommend trying to add that to the hike because then you're going to have to walk back. So it is an out and back. One thing to note. So basically anything that you're going to hike, you're going to have to hike back. So just be aware of that when you're doing this hike. Quick note, if you are planning on doing this hike and you're wondering about parking. So you can pay for parking if you want. Uh, actually, quick little side note, the reason why I wanted to do a hike nearby here was because of 
the Taco Bell Cantini here in Pacifica, or there in Pacifica. Uh, the reason being is because in, in, on Instagram, there's a ton of people kind of showing uh, the views that you get from the cantina, the Taco Bell Cantina right there in Pacifica, and it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. You get the whole ocean, you get everything there. And that was actually the main, one of the main reasons why I was going to do a hike there. But as I was doing the hike, I actually got just better views and just enjoyed the hike a lot, hike a lot more. And I didn't really want to eat Taco Bell right after. So I decided not to stop at the Taco Bell Cantina. But that doesn't mean you can't just go there just for that or just stop by after uh, your hike and get a drink if that's something that you want to do. So that was actually just kind of a little sign out of why I decided to go kind of in that area. It's because of the Taco Bell Cantina. So what's saying on that, you can park right there, uh, pay, I think it was about 12 bucks, if I remember correctly, um, for all day parking. But if you don't want to pay for that, you can actually go a little bit down the road and you can see parking, just street parking right there. So you can decide either or whatever you feel more comfortable and safe for your car. Um, you can either pay for parking or park it on the side of the road. Also, if you are doing this hike, please wear long sleeves and sweats or pants, kind of just to cover, not shorts. Um, the reason is because there is poison oak on this trail and I luckily wore long sleeves I always really wear long sleeves and sweats so it doesn't really affect me because I have really sensitive skin um, so for me to get that would suck really really bad so please wear long sleeves wear sweats if you can um, don't wear shorts during this hike because also during as you're doing the trail if you do decide to do this is that um, the bushes in around kind of get closer the trail it was in as paved or as cleared path as it was when i went it probably might be cleared by the time you do this if you do decide to do this hike uh, but just be aware that please wear long sleeves and sweats i just like doing it across the board whether it's cold or summertime helps prevent being burnt poison oak anything like that and you can just take it off throw it in the hamper once you get home so quick recap of everything if you are planning to do this hike you can decide whether or not you want to pay for parking. Twelve dollars, I believe it's a little, probably a little more with everything going on today. Gas prices, everything, it's probably a little bit more. Or you can go down the street a little bit further, park there. Um, make sure you have also. I forgot to mention. Make sure you have your All Trails app active once you're beginning the hike, because the beginning of the hike was a little bit tricky. So just have that in the background. Make sure you have it as you're walking, just because I remember there is a highway right there, Highway One, um, and it kind of like diverts a little bit. You have to kind of go up on the street and then go down to start the hike if that makes sense uh, so just please have that in the ultras up there so you can know exactly where the hike begins and then also if you are planning if you enjoy the video um, and the views and the pictures that i got uh, please do the hike the trail that i did on if you want to go a little bit like a minute or two back you can see where i diverted off and kind of went to the edge of the cliff where i was able to see the ocean and everything so please be careful if you do planning on do that just because um, it is a really, really small trail. Take your time doing it. Uh, make sure you're not exhausted and you have enough water and snacks to prepare. So if you reach to the end of the video, I want to say thank you for watching all the way through. Uh, please go check me out on my other social media accounts, Steve Down Hernandez SJ. Put a link down below in the description as well. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.